We begin with breaking news from Charlottesville, Virginia, where two people have been injured in an altercation with protesters who are out in force over the planned removal of a Confederate statue. Watch this. One year ago, we witnessed an American tragedy. A rally motivated by hate ended in violence and the death of my daughter, Heather. Neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and bigots marched through the city of Charlottesville. Standing up against hate isn't easy, but now more than ever, it's necessary. Here are 10 ways you can fight hate. One, act. Do something. Take action in the face of hatred. Apathy is not an option. Two, Join forces. Reach out to allies from faith communities, schools, clubs, and other civic groups. Create a diverse coalition, gathering ideas from everyone and getting everyone involved. Three, support the victims. Victims of hate crimes often feel alone and afraid. Surround victims with comfort and protection. Small acts of kindness, a phone call, a letter can help. Four, speak up. Hate must be exposed and denounced. Speak up in ways that draw attention away from hate and toward unity. Five, educate yourself. Get informed, armed with a computer, email, and a website. The reach of even small hate groups can be immense. Know who they are and what false messages they spread. Number six, you have to create an alternative. Do not attend hate rallies. Hold a separate unity rally or parade to draw media attention away from the hate and towards you. Seven, pressure leaders. Make sure your elected officials and other community leaders know that you won't stand for hate in your community. Ask them to take a public stand. Eight, stay engaged, promote acceptance, and address bias before another hate crime occurs. Expand your comfort zone by reaching out to people outside of your own groups. Nine, teach acceptance. Bias is learned early and often at home. By age three, children can be aware of racial differences. By age 12, they can hold stereotypes. Teach tolerance early and often. And number 10, dig deeper. We all grew up with prejudices. Acknowledging them and working through them can be a scary and difficult process. Look inside yourself for bias and commit to disrupting hate. Standing up against hate isn't easy, but now more than ever, it's necessary. Apathy is not an option.